Christine Galan. Woman who underwent historic double transplant surgery to get a new kidney. Uh, so she is the first person to get a heart and liver transplant. Wow. 25 years ago in the Western United States, that was at Cedar sinai Medical Center out there in Los Angeles. A four and a half years ago, that with that story, she received a kidney transplant from a generous living donor, also provided out there at Cedar sinai But she and her husband now live here in Florida, a little north of us in Port St. Lucie, mm -hmm. and we are privileged to be joined by Christine Galan on set. First of all, good morning. And Thank good you. Morning. Good morning. Very healthy. Thank good morning. you. I am. It's amazing. Wow. I mean, my journey started when I was 17. Oh, wow. I was in my senior year of high school. Hi, Terrence. How are you? And, um, I'm well, thank you. And um, I got sick with an autoimmune disease, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, mm. where my spleen was producing antibodies that were eating up my red blood cells. Mm. Wow. So I had to have my spleen taken out, and then they found stones in my gallbladder when they went to take that out. Mm. So they whipped that out as well. <laughs> and then I was doing okay. I was on prednisone. I weighed 210 pounds mm. when I graduated high school wow. from being on prednisone. It was like somebody pumped me with It's like hair. a steroid, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And um, then I got lupus. When I was 25, I had congestive heart failure. Oh, and they put me on heart medication and said, you'll never be able to do anything but walk and walk slowly. And I moved to New York in 1990. And I joined a gym. I started doing stair-step classes. <laughs> I was determined to keep myself as healthy as possible. I stopped eating red meat. Uh -huh. and, and I didn't eat sweets. And um, I did the best I could. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I got stones in the bile ducts of my liver. My liver enzymes were elevated, and I started to turn orange, and the whites of my eyes turned fluorescent green. Mm -hmm. And um, every doctor that I went to in New York said, you'll never get a transplant because you have lupus. Oof. And um, I literally left there crying. This was not an option for me. One doctor wanted to put a bag on my side. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm 34 years old. There is no way I'm going to live with a bag on my side. Mm -hmm. So my parents lived in... California, in San Diego, and so we looked at Cedar sinai and they said, um, you know, you could do liver surgery to try and remove the stones out of your bile ducts, or you can um, have a, you know, a transplant, but your heart is so weak, mm. you might not survive the liver transplant, you'd have to have a heart as well. Mm. So we opted to do the surgery on my liver and try and get the stones out, because I knew if that didn't work, I had a fallback. Wow. for the transplant and of course they couldn't the stones were like cemented in well modern the medicine what, what they a miracle. Did, and I a miracle but i want to yeah. let everyone know so karen and terrence can get in yeah sorry uh, you're very <laughs> modest because despite all those challenges you're the first heart and liver transplant recipient to complete the new york city marathon <laughs> which yeah. you did in November 2011, yeah. three years after those first transplants. Incredible. So the courage of this woman. Oh, I can't imagine. Well, I wanted to do it because I wanted to make awareness of organ donation because there's like 100,000 people on the transplant list mm -hmm. and 17 mm -hmm. people die a day mm -hmm. while waiting. And look at me 25 years later, you know, and this heart and liver saved me as well the second time with my kidney because if this wasn't good, the kidney wasn't going to work. Mm -hmm. Incredible. You know, so it's it's amazing. I'm very lucky. Terrence? How, how much was your your determination and your mindset part of your therapy, part of your recovery? It, I, I'm a very strong person, if you can't tell. And, <laughs> um, you know, for me, it was about prayer. I was in ICU waiting on my heart to live for 11 weeks. Wow. I mean, I was dying. My kidneys failed. I was on dialysis. And every single nurse that came into my room, they prayed with me. Mm. I had a girlfriend that had an internet prayer group going. Mm. And um, it was the, the 23rd of October. It was a Friday night. My heart transplant surgeon came in. He was the one that was going to put my heart in. When it came, he held my hand and he kissed my, my forehead because mm. I was dying. Mm. And he said, you hang in there. And the next day was Saturday. My parents usually went down to San Diego. They left me in the hospital one night. Mm. And they stayed because they knew I was dying. Ah. And um, I was so determined to live for so long. And I fought and I fought. And I looked at my dad at quarter to five that evening. And I said, I can't take this anymore. Please let me die. And mm. he said, you've been sick for 19 years and you've fought your whole life for this. Don't you dare give up us ah. on us now. And... Um, Half an hour later, the call came in that I was wow. being transplanted. And I knew that I was going from when I was going to die to knowing that I was going to live. For me, mm. it was about getting those organs. And once I got them, I knew I'd be okay. 
and it was a 12 hour surgery. And for the first time, my parents crawled into my hospital bed and slept while mm -hmm. I was in surgery because mm -hmm. we all knew with me the way I am that I was going to be okay. Well, you know, wow. we have a live chat on Getter, as I'm sure you know from watching the show, and yeah. people are saying you're amazing and blessed mm -hmm. and the power, yes, of power of prayer. Um, and I just want to put up, my sister received uh, a liver transplant, as you know, and there she is. She's <laughs> healthy like you are. There she is in the middle Good with my mom, my daughter, and my niece as well. Nice. Uh, and so this is not about me and my sister, but you contacted me on Facebook because of that. Exactly. And because you wanted to raise awareness. So that's why I wanted to have you on. Right. Uh, but talk about Real America's Voice, because you said you and your husband watched the show and watched Real America's Voice, and talk about this platform and this we, movement right now. We love it. As a matter of fact, we all our televisions are Samsung, because hmm. we wanted to make sure that we could get 1029 <laughs> on our TV. <laughs> and so we get in the office in the morning, because we both work from home. Good. And TV comes on, you both there. Unfortunately, I go to watch aerobics and do that, and then I come back and we get the end of you. <laughs> and then I, um, we watch Bannon. We love Bannon. And uh, we're a huge Rav. We love Rav. Aww. Yeah, I mean, our television is on Rav all day long. Great. Yeah. I love it. So glad you're part of our We're 100% MAGA. There you go. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. On the way out, you mentioned your parents. What about the guy over there? How, how supportive is your husband? Oh, he's been? amazing. He did dialysis on me five days a week at home. Uh, he really? got trained on it. So he is awesome. I'm very, wow. very lucky. Well, yeah. You guys drove a long way to be here this yeah. morning. We're honored really by that. Should. And a lot of people, I'm sure, are going to be inspired by your story. Thank but, you. Oh, thank your story you. Is a oh, blessing. I was going to say that I, I, I thank you. I tell people that I'm Jamaican, I'm white. Jamaican, I'm Christine, <laughs> Yaman. <laughs> I'm J Jewish and my name is Christine and I have two male African American organs because my donor was my heart liver donor was an African American. So there's wow. no one in the world like me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about diversity. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All in one. All right. Treat yourself Thank to some you curry so goat and some rice and peas for me, please. Yaman. <laughs> yeah. I have a rum cake here for them. <laughs> she made us a rum cake. Sorry, Terrence, you're not going to get it, but the folks here in West Palm will. Thank you. Your story Thank is a blessing, Terrence. Thank you so much.